All right, I think this dude is Lopez, and I am jazzed about his idea because it means we can do kind of an urban thing. I gotta have that big city apartment feel for me. I think that sounds great. Maybe a bit of a New York theme. Let's go for it, Lopez. Mm. Yes, I do build vacation homes. Fantastic. Let's get this ultra luxe vacation home going. Badoom. Okay, let's do it, Lopez. You're a real take action kind of guy. Okay, I can tell you're a classy guy who knows what he wants, so show me what you're thinking. Okay, your piece of the big city. Okay, so keeping it simple with a cool low table and a stereo system, I can I can run with that, Lopez. Okay, absolutely. I like his concept too, Lottie. It's simple, but he's giving me plenty of room to use my creativity. All right, Lopez, I know I use this location a lot, but it's the only one that has streets established. <laughs> and so I think for your piece of the big city, we've got to go with this. Yes, well, I don't know how exclusive it is. It's the island, it's the, it's the one I've used the most, but it is a pretty cool one. And I think it's the perfect one for you. Yes, so we are going to do two floors. I'm going to try to somehow incorporate a subway downstairs and have your apartment upstairs. Uh, we'll see how I do with that, Lopez. All right, I'd be delighted. I have all sorts of things running around in my head. Let's get this going. Yes, this is going to be your vacation pad. I am thinking some kind of a Manhattan theme as being the big city. So uh, stay tuned, Lopez. Uh, let's see what other items you've included. So you like the cool furniture and the artsy furniture. That's nice. Okay. Well, you are certainly not dictating a whole bunch of stuff to me, and it's very easy to incorporate your musts. Oh my gosh, look at you. You've got all sorts of... Uh, you're the first one, I think, who's had more than one... KK song. That's interesting. Well, we'll have to do some different ones throughout your location. Maybe put you in a flashy jacket. Uh, we will see. Well, fantastic, Lopez. I really hope I'm able to put something really great together for, me, for you. You give me some time and I'll be back with you shortly. All right, Lopez, let's take a look at your piece of the big city. So I have chosen the Big Apple as my inspiration. So you can see the Statue of Liberty is here right at the entrance along with an apple right next to you to represent the Big Apple. Uh, Lopez, you are dressed adorably in that flashy jacket, which was one of your requested items. And both you and Nico are wearing those tiny little top hats, which are just adorable. Uh, so fantastic. So we enter and you can see that we have a crosswalk symbol here. Not that it's really serving any type of a purpose, but just to indicate how much of a walking city New York City is in the whole Manhattan area, how well you can get around walking. So as we come up the stairs, I need you to use your imagination a little bit. So I have used these little dress up dolls to be the people of Manhattan here. And so this gigantic fountain is meant to be the fountain in front of Lincoln Center. And you can see the subway uh, behind there. And though the subway is usually, for the most part, underground, <laughs> we've got it above ground here. And even though there certainly is subway running beneath Lincoln Center, it's not running right in 
view of the fountain. But we are taking we are taking some liberties here, Lopez. We are taking a few liberties. But I thought that was kind of cool to just from a distant perspective look like uh, some people walking around on the pavement with the big fountain and the subway behind them. So then we have those great big beams and the scaffolding indicating some construction, which is regularly happening in the city. And you can see over here that we have the observation uh, binoculars here uh, for the tourists to look a little more closely. And they happen to be kind of focused on the Statue of Liberty. So that's probably why they're there. We've got a park bench here. And this park bench was meant to blend with the other park benches that are around uh, the sort of outer area that I can't control. That is also true with these lamp posts. I tried to keep that really consistent and the brick with the area outside of where I have control. So you can see you have, you live in a lovely brownstone here <laughs> and we've got the I Love New York out front. And it's a beautiful day here in Manhattan. So that is also very nice. So let's go ahead and take a look inside. So your first floor, Lopez, this was a little bit of a challenge because I wanted to do the subway. And so what I think I'm going to do is I think I'm going to get into handheld mode because I needed to use a bunch of pillars to cover up the subway windows. I didn't want that everywhere. I just wanted that inside the train. So I'm going to switch to uh, handheld mode. All right, Lopez, so we have just entered the subway and you can see we have a bench there and somebody is selling some bags, which isn't too terribly surprising. And we have a subway map there and these are the doors going into the subway. Uh, just ignore the fact that it's moving right now. <laughs> Coming around a little farther here, we have another subway map. And we see over in this corner a guitar and a saxophone because quite regularly we could see some musicians perform, point, uh, performing inside of the subway. And another plain bench to sit. And you can see very cement and I do have some of your music playing as well as the train sounds. We'll see if you can hear them as we go into the subway. But so this is basically the platform where you're waiting to uh, board the subway. So now let's go ahead and move forward toward the subway. So here we are again. Let's pretend the subway isn't moving here at the moment, but we'll go ahead and enter the subway car. And now we could pretend that the subway was moving again. And so you can see all of the subway, uh, the subway seats here. Pretty typical that some would be uh, facing the opposite direction of the movement of the train and some of them would be facing the movement of the train since the train switched directions back and forth when it hits the end of its line. Uh, the, the front uh, forward becomes backward and backward becomes forward depending upon which way you're going. So I just have, I've never actually used this wallpaper before because I just wasn't sure how to make it work. And so this is my first attempt and hopefully we're doing okay with it. And you can see in the back and the front, I have put pillars so that uh, it looks like, it doesn't look like there's this wallpaper there too. And you might wonder, well, why didn't I just use that as an accent wall? And then I wouldn't have had it everywhere. But I did want to be able to have both sides of the train showing the windows. So uh, you can see that I used those partition walls there on both sides of the train. And there you are outside, <laughs> outside of the train door. Um, so that was my whole idea here uh, for this little subway train. And you can see I did some different carpets for 
uh, what the seats were on and versus the aisle down the middle. And it's just a little bit tough with all of those pillars I used. It's just a little tough to uh, see things in this mode, which is why I did the handheld. But I'm pretty happy. I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. I mean, I do think that it is kind of cool that in on both sides you can uh, see those uh, buildings going on outside the window and at the front and the back of the train uh, we've got the uh, we've got just white from the pillars And there we have those purses, and you can see the subway maps where those are located, and then the instruments over there. Okay, Lopez, well, that was my fun little experiment. Let's go ahead and go upstairs. Now, Lopez, this is your stunning penthouse suite. You take off your shoes before you enter, so we have those. You have a lovely cool couch where you can come sit and watch a little TV. We see that we have this uh, Apple carpeting underneath your couch and television, representing your beloved city, the Big Apple. You've got gorgeous windows on all sides. Here I have a little space for you to sit and do your work on your laptop. We have one of your pieces of music playing here on this stereo, a little I Love New York poster, a little cityscape picture, uh, a duck that was one of your requested items, and then your photo. In the center here, we have that cool wooden lamp as well as a fruit bowl on top of um, your table with your cool chairs. You had much of the cool furniture in your requested items and uh, the, the low table was in your musts and so I made sure to include that. You have an awesome little balcony area you can come out to with a table and a couple of chairs. We've got a little I Love New York coffee mug here outside where you can drink your coffee and watch the sun come up. You've got a nice little divider to go into your bedroom where you've got your bed. We've got one of these uh, cube lamps and on this shelving unit we have some shirts and some sweaters. You really keep things very simple. And then we've got a little game room over in this corner. You had the requested items of the billiards table and the pinball machine. So I worked those into this corner next to your coat rack. And another requested item was the ironwood clock. So I put that above the door. And so lots of fun to build your New York penthouse apartment and give you a little slice of the Big Apple here. And I hope you enjoy it. Since we had both of your musts on this floor, I'm going to go ahead and have you tour this floor. So Lopez, what do you think? Oh my gosh, it's done Lopez. And I really put my heart and soul into this one. Well, Badoom, take a look around. Oh, for sure. Ooh, wow, your piece of the big city. Oh my gosh, look at that view. Nice. Behind one of the panels they have that's okay. Your PC. Oh. Hope you like it, Lopez. Don't you have some gorgeous coloring? Well, but doom to you too, bud. Hey, you know, flamenco dancing sounds awesome, and you look dressed for it. <laughs> I am not kidding you right now. <laughs> You're such a cutie. Just having a cup of joe out on your balcony with this beautiful view. How cool is that, Lopez? Well, of course we need a little time on the train. 
you know, we might be heading up town to your apartment uh, after seeing something off Broadway. You know, who knows, Lopez? There are just so many possibilities. All right, Lopez. Well, I think it is time for me to head back. Well, thank you very much. I hope you love your spot. And you know, the illusion kind of works from here with the people in the distance. <laughs> it looks looks a little bit like it could fool you into thinking they're they're real. I'm headed back, Lopez. Well, you're so welcome. It was a lot of fun working with you. Later.